Hey, it's been a while. I'm sorry about that. Um, school has been absolutely insane. I haven't had time to breathe, basically. It's hasn't been fun, to say the least, but a couple weeks ago, I finished my OB clinical. And I'll just take you through a typical day of your OB clinical. Um, it can get kind of hectic just because we've only had one patient throughout the entire semester for clinicals and this time we had the mother and the baby which are two separate patients technically um so yeah anyway so we'd get to the floor find out who our patient is and then um we would wait for a report and some of the nurses on there were really not very nice people and they got mad when we asked them for a report even though we're not allowed to go into our patient's room without it. Okay, so then we do that and then then we have to go do vitals and it, at that time it's like 7 in the morning. So we have to go wake up wake them up and most likely they haven't been sleeping all night because they've been up with their newborn baby feeding and all that kind of stuff so we go in there and wake them up at seven and you can imagine they're probably not going to be very happy and then you have to do their fundal check and their lochia check and their fundal check is um, when the fundus is the top of the uterus and when you're pregnant the it all comes up farther to fit the whole baby in your tummy and so after you give birth the fundus has to go back to its original position so um like the position it was in before you got pregnant so you have to keep checking it um all you do is you put your hand at the bottom uh, below the umbilicus or belly button um so that you don't push the uterus out because that would be bad um, and then you just feel around, like, usually there'll be, um, maybe one or two fingers above the, um, above the umbilicus, like, the next day after, um, you give birth. Um, so you just, like, put your hand like this over it and just, like, kind of rub around until you feel it. And it's just, like, this hard ball that you feel. And the more you rub, like, the harder it gets, so it's it's really weird it can get like it's honestly as hard as rock if you keep rubbing it and the lochia check is um, how much drainage they're getting in their pad so you have to have them turn to their side so you can pull down their pants which is can be uncomfortable sometimes but I'm so used to doing it with old people that it just doesn't phase me I don't realize I'm doing it to a young person and they're probably not as comfortable as I am but that's okay. They get over it. Um, so yeah, then after that's done, you find their morning medications, which are usually like a prenatal vitamin and colase and stuff like that. Um, and a lot of times you have to give them IMs. Like they'll check to see if they have all their immunizations up to date, and if they don't, then you give them like a tetanus shot or something and I gave this poor girl two two IMs in one like within two minutes of each other I felt bad but oh well she was fine with it she was really nice her I love this lady by the way but her child was born with hydrocephalus which hydrocephalus is like basically hydro means water and cephalus is the brain so Basically, it's just that the C, there's too much C, um, cerebral spinal fluid. It all accumulates inside of the baby's head, and it gets really big. Like, basically, a newborn baby head can is like the same size as a full-grown person's head. So the baby's head was like this big. Yeah, I don't know. It's that baby was the cutest thing I've ever seen, but it is, it's sad and it's scary for the parents, but the parents were amazing and they handled it so well. Um, and what they do, what they usually do for that is do a VP shunt, which is where they get a drain 
and it's usually like back here um and shunt the fluid like down to somewhere else in the stomach so that it can be absorbed by the blood so that's what they did for this baby and they you they lead pretty normal lives after that with usually no long-term damage um but yeah um okay sorry I lost where I was anyway so yeah you do their morning meds and you do all that and then you have to run to the baby and do the baby's assessment then you have to run back to the mom and do the mom's assessment then you have to run back to the baby to get the baby to bring to the mom to do feeding and then after the feeding or you have to make sure that the baby's feeding okay and you have to check the mom's nipples to make sure that they're not like cracked or anything like that or in any pain and then the mom feeds for a while and while they're doing that you have time to do some charting and then you go back in make sure that everything's okay and make sure the baby is pooping and peeing um, make sure the mom is okay make sure the mom's not having too much um, blood or no blood at all because both of those could mean hemorrhage um, keep checking her lo her lochia and her fundus to make cause her, if her fundus is soft that could mean hemorrhage too so you have to check it to make sure that's okay and it's just it gets hard running back and forth especially when the mom it's really sad when the mom like doesn't really want the baby in the room just wants it kept in the nursery unless she has to feed it so then you're really running back and forth bringing the baby there then bringing it back after feeding and then bringing it back and forth anyways it was really fun though I'm not gonna lie I, it was a lot better than I thought it would be so that's good um yeah, if you have any questions about, like, what the OB, specific questions about it, let me know. I'm not sh quite sure what else to share. It, people say it's, like, the happiest place to be, because, I mean, giving birth is happy. But to me, it was one of the saddest places that I worked in the hospital so far. Because of the fact that they were there were so many teen moms, and there were so many mom or pregnant women that came in that were on drugs or their husbands are on drugs or they're not probably well most likely just significant others were on drugs and so now they have a thing where every time you come in there you have to get a drug screening it's just I'm I'm not gonna lie like over half of the people patients that came in were on some form of drug it was very sad to me um and there was like a, the youngest girl that was in there was 14 and her boyfriend was 14 too and they were extremely extremely immature <clears throat> okay enough about